Generic greetings and welcome to Volcanoids. Today's beverage is a lovely cup of tea, Earl Grey hot. Picard's favourite, in fact, and to be fair, that is quite apt because we are indeed a captain ourselves. Obviously not of a starship and certainly not of a ship that's called Enterprise, however, of this recently liberated drill ship. It's a little bit more grounded than perhaps a Sovereign or a Galaxy class, but it is still just as good. It has cannons, it has a reactor, it has many, many fabrication points, which we could substitute for the replicators. But anyway, this is a game where essentially you have a drill ship and you go along an island, gather resources. I have featured it once before on the channel, but not as of late. And there's been several updates, and it's turned from a sort of curiosity to something that has my attention, because the travel update is really, really cool. What I need to do is currently go and raid a drill ship, which is over there, and I have 13 minutes before, essentially, the... Oh, you can't really see it, but there is a volcano over there before that goes off and pretty much pompeys the entire place. Is that a verb? I don't think it is. But anyway, we're going to go over there and we're going to shoot some robots, because well, they don't feel anything and we need their parts. Actually, what I'm probably going to do is get some more ammo. I've currently only got six out of the uh, 37 ammo. You might notice I have a revolver here. That's something that has been added since I last played this thing. Uh, let's go over to uh, Copper Ingot. Do we need to make loads of that? I don't think we do. We'll probably just be able to produce stuff from here. Let's go to ammo and then to revolver ammo. And we'll probably get a couple of those. What do you get? How many do you get? You get, um, oh, a fair few, actually. And I think I've already got some in storage. And, oh, yeah, uh, there's actually quite a bit there. Uh, where is it? That is the turret ammo. 80 shots should do me quite nicely. In fact, that's probably a bit too much. But there, uh, you can't really have too much ammo when you're going to assault one of these drill ships. So let's just head over there. This thing should be able to take care of itself. It does have a gun there with some ammo in it, too. So we're going to head over to this drill ship. You can see on the top right our objective. And we need to get a converter in order to, well, I don't don't really know. I'll probably extend our drill ship there. As I said, that's recently been liberated from these guys, and we can see one coming there, so I'm just going to have a little bit of a shot here, and I am copper in um, Rainbow Six Siege, so obviously I can shoot uh, quite aptly, uh, I guess because these guys are made of copper too. Actually, more bronze, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> I'll lie, actually. I think I'm gold in Siege at the moment. Anyway, I digress. It matters not. Right, we're going to go over here, and we can see we're 170 metres away, and there's some more of these guys patrolling, and also some resources there. If we switch over to, say, this pick here we should be able to gather that i do need some is that loads of copper i think that may be loads and loads of copper but i don't think can we mine this no it doesn't look like we can there is other ways to mine though and that's with the drill ship itself which i'll show you in but a moment once we've come back from uh, assaulting this thing assuming this doesn't go back underground you understand because we still have to take out well, a number of robots. We don't really know how many are going to be there, but I'm going to guesstimate, perhaps wrongly, that there's going to be maybe four to six, and it depends if they spawn more anywhere. But I'm just going to gather resources as we progress on. I do need some more coal, because I think we're running out of power in the ship, but that's only situated, I believe, around the sort of coastal areas. So, you can see we can just hit this guy straight in the face, although it would have been best if I didn't have one more, uh, well, the one shot. But there we go, and we'll reload there. You can see there's not really much animation there, but um, hopefully that'll be added in due course. This is, after all, early access, and we can see the drill ship there, and, okay, we're going to take care of this guy, and, okay, yeah, we need to um, come back around the corner there. A little bit of a stutter, but not too much of a problem. There we go, go back and dodge that shot because we have that ability apparently and oh we're gonna get close go for the headshot go for the headshot there we go they are now gone right so we need to take that and we do have the part that we need i think hang on does it say that it says place the shredded in storage place the converter in storage and can we assault this thing we probably can i can probably get on board oh, hang on there's someone behind us there um all right keep going keep going keep going actually stay still because we get more accuracy there we go we'll pick up them resources and we're probably getting quite full now I wonder if there's any captain in around this place. Doesn't look like it to be. Uh, we can go up and say... Uh, oh, we can't claim that because we don't have a part. Oh, oh, oh that's bad. Um, they have um, no face anymore. That's good. Um, what's our health like? Health like is fine. I'm guessing we can go up. That's a scrap station, refinery station. That is a refinery. That is... I have no idea what that is. Let's see where their storage is. Production station. Where is their storage? Refinery. Aha! Cabinets. And let's nick some stuff. Ooh, a scrap station. Let's nick that. And then we'll nick all of this. And that should do us for now. What's that there? Fully packed. Fully... What? That is some sort of... Oh, it is a storage system. And... Ooh, right. So we've got a refinery in there. They've got breach stuff. We've got a converter. We're going to take all their coal. And... I think I've got a status, uh, a status panel in the ship, so I don't need to take that. I think we'll just take all of that, and do we need to take a refinery? It Not really. I think that should do us for now. Okay, so we're going to go down and out and then run away. Actually, we can't get out. <gasps> oh, don't say I can't get out because of that. Actually, we can probably get out here. Um, okay, we're just going to have to blast this away. Eventually, we'll be able to destroy that door, I believe. 
Um, that's a problem. Yeah, that's that's stopping us getting out. Okay, just <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, the solution is apparently a revolver. Right, so we're gonna reload our gun. You can't sprint reload, so I better stop and then we'll run back. We have eight minutes fifty-two as shown on the top there until the next eruption. But you probably want to be underground. I would say at least a minute before it goes off, just because in, in case anything happens or there's a problem with the reactor or something like that, and this is gonna probably hurt quite a lot. Ooh. Ooh, falling damage. No, no, apparently not. So we will heal ourselves up because we do need to uh, get to max health. You can see there's this sort of, I don't know, what would you call it? Lava flow, I guess. And we can go up to it. And it does hurt, but we should be able to get this copper ore without any great difficulty. Yes, we can. And there's also some sulfur over there being guarded by... Oh, a very aggressive bot as well. And there's a couple of them running towards me. And, uh, oh, apparently that didn't take much. Cool. Right, back over to mining, and then we'll get some sulfur, and inventory is full, so we can't do that. We can pick up some shotgun rounds. We don't actually have a shotgun. Ow, that's burning. That is uh, all kinds of toasty. Yeah, we don't actually have a shotgun, but I might as well pick up the rounds and still inventory full. You know what? We'll go back. We'll go back. We've got enough stuff on us anyway. So apparently, uh, they raid the cog drill ship, so we need to place uh, the shredder into storage done, place the pump into storage done, and then place the converter into storage, which we'll do in but a moment. And then we'll see whatever the next objective is. Now, oh, that's... Is that okay? Oh, no, we're fine. I thought there was some holes in the side of the ship. And to, to be fair, there is holes in the side of the ship, but it is holes that I actually made them myself so I can get in and out from the left and right. Okay, so to the storage, and we will dump... Oh, can we dump that stuff in there? Yes, we can. We'll dump all of... No, wrong way. Uh, let me just put it over here. So we'll place in the scrap, place the shredder. We'll place in the coal because... Well, we need that. Ammo will stay on ours. I think I've got too much ammo. We'll put some copper bolts in there. Gren oh, grenade. Ah, we'll keep hold of that. Um, we'll put the shredder in there, the converter. We'll put the shotgun shells in there for now, the copper ore. Copper plates, coal. And that should do us for now. Uh, a state, state selector. And we'll also go for a scrap station as well. I'll place those in there and do it later on. So... It says, well done, we are now complete. We do have uh, a couple of quests here. This is, I wouldn't say just after the tutorial, but it's, there's like a basic tutorial where you come from like a, a boat over there and you come here. And I didn't really want to do it, but to be fair, I thought, you know what, I haven't played in a while and there's such new stuff anywhere. So we need to produce a storage module and a longer drill ship. So we need some copper tubes. Let's go over to our production station, which is currently um, out the side of the ship. You can um, press on that and what happens, you'll see, is it like uh, puts it back in. That's actually the gun there, but it all sort of... Um, unfolds and stuff which is really really cool i know um there's as of the time recording a the, oh hang on we are getting attacked and i think they've just been killed yeah they have the, the guns hurt. the gun destroyed it i assume it's this one yes it is yeah as of the time recording they've been working on some more like, automation stuff so you can have like a sort of production line going in there which is fairly cool but anyway let's jump back up here and oh, we'll have to go around to this bit and I guess we'll get this out and see if we can repair because, yeah, we have taken a tiny bit of damage. Only 1%, so, you know, not something we're going to have to worry too much about. Let me place the scrap metal in there and let's crack on with the building. So, menu, component, we need to make some of these. So, produce drill ship segment. All right, menu, yes, upgrade, yes, drill ship segment going to take quite a while. You can put extra ones in the queue. You can say, take, uh, do forever. You can check in what's in your storage. You can trash stuff. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of a lot of improvements since I last played it. And uh, the travel is uh, really cool. What I like, and what they seem to be focusing on as well, is the these sort of, uh, like, really old-fashioned style of um, manual controls. Big switch keys and levers. And it reminds me of, like, a... Like a, like a like a, a point system on a, on a like a, a railway network where you see the, the the switch boxes and all that sort of thing and loads of levers and stuff and all, all the dials. I, li I like the uh, the analog dials. <laughs> They're quite good. So we've got this thing here. We can uh, go to menu. We will uh, no. We no. We don't have to do that. We need to pick it up first. So we'll pick that up there. And it says longer drill ship. Or the drill ship to go underground. Pull the down lever. You can see we've got these two controls here. But we can also pull this one. So we're going to say down. And what will happen is it will fold up like uh, like that. It will then put the sides in, start spinning around, which in reality I'm guessing the mass of that would turn the middle rather than the out, outer bits, but there you go. We're not going <laughs> to... Oh, can you see on the left hand side there, there's a couple of those just running at us. Sorry, mate. Sorry about that. If we press escape, you can see it is actually going down, and it's... Ooh, it's uh, really iffy when it does that. Um, it's a 
makes me a bit queasy when it does that. Anyway, so install the segment. Wait until the drill strip reaches the underground and stops. Yes. Go to the status panel and click on the menu button. Uh huh. Okay. And then we can put the upgrades in. So we'll just say that one there. And there we go. We have now added this extra section to it. So we've now got this bit at the back. Oh, cool. So. Uh, and now it says uh, order the ship to go up. What I'll do is I will show you the way to travel there. So we can go over to this, which is our uh, our sort of travel map. Uh, we can also go to Periscope as well. We can see all the way around. Actually, I wonder if that wonder if that bot's still there. It is there. There it is. It's it's still guarding that. Very naughty. Uh, and what we can do is click and move it around. You see, and move it around the map, which I think is a much better way of doing it um, as opposed to what happened uh, previously. And oh, there's a wrecked uh, drill ship. I'm not going to engage that. Actually, do we want? to do that mm, we'll do that one uh, we'll do that later and you can see you've got different tunnels as well that's that's like surface tunnels one they got caves and they go further down and you also gain like heat sources and and things like that. We're going to go over to this safe ground here so hang on we want to go there and can we move the drill ship why won't it move why will it not move? oh there we go that was just the map that's why so we're going to go over down here and so we're drill ship, we're in the tunnels, you see. You can see also the hole as well as the temperature. Don't go past there. I'm guessing all kinds of bad things happen. Let's go to the safe grounds and it says going to surface. I'll press escape and you'll see it will sort of pitch up. Okay, it's making a liar out of me. Now there we go, it's going up and you can see the sort of umbilical type bit sort of worming its way that way and yeah, it sort of follows it up and you'll be able to see it is larger. In fact, it comes out on the right hand side there a tree probably had all of its roots just ripped off and you can see it's now much much longer and also bending in a very strange way and we will be attacked here but hopefully the gun will be able to take care of business um, if not well then I also have a gun and you can see it's sort of parked side on here so where is this thing I believe it was around here and there it is there so you're not getting away wait until it comes over and there we go business taken care of. What I will probably do is place a gun on either side. I might move that refinery. I think we, I'm pretty sure we can remove the refinery. And they were coming towards us too. Right, so we need to produce a storage module. So we need to produce copper tubes. Let's do that. Again, we're just following what it says on the right. And you see, uh, eruption is in 1 minute 55. So it says also go to the equipment section and produce a ch chest. There we go. I'm pretty sure there's one upstairs, but I'll check on that in but a moment. There we are, and then we want to have it, so put the storage tier 1, we'll gra gather that, and then, oh, storage module, um, hide from volcano, it says quest paused, it will continue after the eruption because 1 minute 30 for that to, be, uh, for that to erupt, so let's go back down. Once again, we will see our <laughs> machine go down much, much longer here. I think what I'll do is on the front I'll put guns on either side, yeah, it's definitely, <laughs> definitely a place you don't want to take the kids on the weekend, here. <sighs> okay, that's going down. And once we're down, well, say stay on the ground there. I wonder if we've got any other quests. We've got faster production, we'll accept the quest, and also prepare for attack. Um, yeah, it's all, we'll continue after the eruption because everybody stops at this stage. I, I assume, perhaps wrongly, that the other ones as well, they will do the same thing, the cog, uh bot type things so 45 seconds until that's done what i'll do is i just need a little bit of healing you notice that all of these are now off well sorry they are currently turned on but they won't be able to do anything because they're not unfolded and such so yeah so let's just have a quick look at this thing it's building up quite nicely here no quests that's fine i wouldn't want to pull that i might I'm, I'm, imagine pulling that and then <laughs> by accident yeah all kinds of bad you can hear it uh, you can hear this sort of pre-eruption going off there it rumbling and groaning and eventually there'll be a bang and all of these will be covered in ash they'll lose all the foliage the grass will go and generally it'll be not a nice place to exist in and here we go boom initial shockwave followed by a dust cloud or an ash cloud i guess being pushed out there pretty much greyed out we can't see anything and let's see what sort of state this place is in after that yeah not good we can see lava flowing down from the side there we've got ash all over the place that's starting to settle on the ground most of the trees have lost almost all if not all of their foliage and yeah 
it's quite a different environment. Right, we will go up because, well, we don't need to be underground anymore. So let's see what happens there. Uh, that's preparing to surface. And then we'll unfold stuff and then we'll crack on. What I need to do is move that. This refinery here, but I don't know how to do it. Let's press a... Oh, actually, yeah, I'll press escape and we'll see that go. How can I move that? I think I can. I'm fairly confident I can. I just need to pick it up from this menu, I think. Good grief, you wouldn't want to get your toe trapped in that. And, ooh, right, okay, this is going to be... Yeah, a little bit different from uh, previous then, isn't it? It's a bit... a bit less... <laughs> yeah, it's a bit more... Uh, well, it's, it's a bit less desirable to be here. Anyway, so, what we need to do, prepare for attack, produce copper tubes, no problem whatsoever, let's just go for that quest there, so one copper tube, it says, produce buckshot ammo, okay, we will produce some buckshot, and one more set, produce a grenade, okay, um, it's a class as a tool, is it? I guess it is a tool for a particular job, um, <laughs> I would have... Uh, class it more of a weapon than anything else, but there you go. We need to pick up the grenades from storage. We will do just that. Shotgun, uh, all of that, all of that, and that should be us complete there. It says find a pump two or three. It can be looted from cog drill ships. Production drill ships carry more. Okay, and the storage module it says click on the menu and go to component copper tubes. So oh no, we need to we need to place it though because I I have it on my person. Do I not? Do I not? I do have it there. So, I don't think we need to produce another one. I guess I'll just follow what it's telling me to do, because why not? And then go to place the copper plates in storage. Is it, it is already in storage. I thought it was. Yeah. Online. Ah, there we go. Produce storage tier one. Got ya. I was jumping the gun a bit. Uh, where does it say? Go to module. Research tier 1, refinery production, storage. The last one in the list. And there we go. Oi! Pack it in. Oh, I wonder if, that, I wonder if this guy's got the... Oh no, I was going to say the pump. It won't be there because it specifically says it's on the cog drill ships. We do have 22 minutes, however, until we have to... Do we have to um, do anything? I wonder if... Ah, there we go. So we can switch between the weapons by just pressing the same button. Very nice indeed. Okay, so we need to place that storage module. So I'll take it from the... Take it from here, yes, and equip the wrench. And then we need to place it somewhere, which I think storage there would be totally acceptable. And that is slowly opening up. I don't know why it needs to open up. It just does. But I mean, you might notice that this has like a... A beam along here we can place a second floor on there which I will do probably quite soon I'm just gonna check damage cog drill ship it says approach drill ship and then stock upon grenades and ammo okay I guess we can do just that before I do that however I want to remove that which is now deconstructed yes this is our uh, this is our refinery which I'll place there I wonder if we can remove the rest of it that's a refinery station so I may as well move that as well I'm gonna place the refinery station in probably there Probably there is fine. And then we might move the rest of it. Um, for now, we'll be all right, though. Okay. I want to do that f top floor, though, because, well, it'll be pretty cool. So whether that be in structure, it would be. It'll be the plate there. So I guess we need one of those. And we need one of those. We also need a ladder, which requires copper tubes. And then we'll place another one of them in. And then it should be a matter of just picking them up. One and then two. I've got these doors as well. I should probably place those. Um, so I can just place a door in there and a door in there. Although, to be fair, the ones are open on the top, which is not really that good. Anyway, let's go back here. And I want to place the flooring in there. That's good. And then a ladder in. Oh, can I, can I place it on just one side? Yeah, just one side. But there you go. So now we have access to the top floor here, which there's not a great point in doing that. I just think it looks fairly cool right so that's in now let us get some more ammo because at the moment we don't have nowhere near enough so i'm going to go for some shotgun shells so i'll produce a couple of those and item missing what i'm missing sulfur powder well we do have the ability to make that but the refinery is now back here we'll click on the menu and we'll build uh, we'll just say unlimited amount it doesn't really matter just use whatever i've got to make it because i don't think we don't think we need to do that. Um, I don't think we need to use anything else. In terms of cost slots, you can see we're on 45, 100. So there is a finite amount of stuff you can have in here. Um, energy is slowly going down, but we are on positive balance. In terms of our 
in terms of our coal, we're totally fine there as well. Okay, so menu back to this. It does say 60, so have I got 60 sitting there? Oh yeah, we've got 60, and it doesn't stack very well, which is a bit of a shame. In terms of grenades, we have four, I think, a couple more grenades. Apparently tools uh, would be quite good. It requires some copper tubes, so we're just going to make a total of five of those. You can't put a stack there and then, say, put a stack of these in. It doesn't work like that. We need sulfur powder. We're under attack again. Yes, we are. Sounds like we're under attack and also that we're out of copper tubes. Sorry, we're out of uh, sulfur powder because I said it to produce that change quickly. I do like that sort of really grey skybox. Reminds me of, well, home, to be honest. <laughs> a very, a very UK-ish summer sky there. Anyway, let's go back into here and we'll gather up the grenade tool as well as putting that back there. I may just, no, do I want to leave these here? Actually, can we stack these? It would be much better if we could just stack them. Yeah, there we go. Does, is I for inventory? It is. Is there an auto stack button? There is not. Shame. Shame. Doesn't really matter. Right, so we have this. We have all the stuff we need. Let's go over there. Actually, do you know what we might be able to do? We may be able to have a quick look here. And we can see that that is our objective there. Um, let's go to the surface map. We can see that that is... Ah, that's the drill ship there. And there's a copper valley there. We're currently there. I'd like to go over there and attack a different way, just for something different to do. So let's let's do just that. Let, let us go underground. You have to go underground in order to do any movement whatsoever. You might notice that we have got these open bits at the side here and that close up. Can you go through here? I'm pretty sure you can go through there, but anyway. Uh, this is a work table which apparently is just the same as the production thing down the bottom. I'm guessing that it just is slower, but I don't really know. Anyway, so that is now working. We also have the map here, which is pretty much what we've seen down below. Also another one of these holes. Uh, we haven't got any research yet, but I do plan on getting that at some point. So we are currently on uh, the tunnels here, so we want to go... Ah, now I'd like to go through here, but this is lava, so I'm guessing, yeah, magma 500 degrees C, so we can't do that. So I'm going to gather that and then turn us around, and we'll gather all of this. We might as well pick this up, you can see there. I wonder how much... Does it tell us anywhere how much resources we're using by doing this? I don't know if it does. So I'm just going to go around these bits here, and... Doesn't look like to be slowing us down any. Can you go across there? And it can, and you can see we we were slowly, uh, slowly heating up there. Not a big problem, but we were there. This is Copper Valley, so we will go to that one, and then we will go to Periscope. And ah, there's one right here. So it is currently occupied. That's a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a problem indeed. I guess we're going to go back to where we came from. Okay, just wanted to try it out, that's all. So, back to the harbour. <sighs> and we are now servicing. I do like that travel update. I think that's uh, much cooler. And looks like we are going to go up. <laughs> you see sort of like undulating, like curving up in there and going around. It's fairly cool. And, oh, you notice that the terrain has started to recover a little bit. You can see it's now, it's still got this sort of grey sheen over it and it's still not fully back to where we had it previously so you know it's still a bit dull it's not really like a lush vegetation set oh there you go so the drill ship moved from there to there i think brilliant right let us get this pickaxe out and we'll start picking at everything we can find on the way to our destination which is obviously that drill ship and no but we can't do hardcore parkour that's a shame all right so one and then two and job done. So we should find some sulfur around here. There is also other resources, but hang on. I wonder what the range of this is. There is still some micro stuff there. You notice that when we fire that, which is a little bit annoying. Okay. Can confirm that it's fairly useless at any range. Or that range we're firing it at. Whereas at this range, it's probably quite good. But we're just going to pick up that scrap and continue on. Right, okay, maybe maybe some aiming down sights might be in order. Right click don't work. Okay, that's a shame. <laughs> so we're going to get this and I'm going to try the shotgun. I'm going to run up and go. Ah, right. Uh, who would have thought that taking a shotgun to about 10 feet away would be much more effective? Hmm. Right, there's lots of cop around here. Quite frankly, I don't really want to spend too much time running around and getting it all. I was going to say, why why did it go full Mordor there? Uh, full Isengard, rather, when we when we got close to that outer sky. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Um, yeah, I guess it's just a case of the 
the heat haze and stuff and the effects on that. Right, so we're going to go towards this weird sort of steampunky looking building. And we know there's one of these bots around here. So we're going to take our time and take a shot. Take another shot. And they do have some resources as well. Hang on. I can hear something moving. I also, I believe I saw some resources together. Oh, there we go. Scrap. Job done. Right. So we need to go further up. See, we've got some patrols around here. It seems to be when these get alerted that they, the game stutters a little bit. It's not a big deal. That's taken care of. I'm very aware, though, that we're using a lot of resources, although I'm also using up a lot of bullets, so, you know, every cloud and all that. The problem will eventually solve itself. So the drill ship is very close. I also don't know what sort of... Oh, don't say it's moving! I think it's moving. Yep, yeah, okay, lava grenade! Oh! Darn it. Well, that's not what I wanted. I wonder if it comes back. Okay, health's a problem. It's actually the lack of health that's a problem. Sounds like it's coming back. That's 100 metres there. Okay, it's coming back up. Okay, this is good for us. There's a claim on weight. <laughs> oh, hi there! How is it going? You're really not going to like this. And... There we go. We have now taken the sides out. It does say... Oh, that's a guy. Um, wrong gun. <laughs> you see the different colours there. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? We don't need all of that. So, destroy the refinery module. Equip the pickaxe and just what, batter away at it? I guess we could. I hope the explosion doesn't hurt. There's only one way to find out. You don't know until you know. And... No, can confirm it does not. But it does t make a hole in it, so that's fine. Can we get through here? Uh-oh. No, can confirm that doesn't work either. <laughs> right, okay. So it does say, mine it, inventory full. Brilliant. So we don't want that. We don't want all of those. And to be honest with you, we'll probably get rid of some of that copper. Right, so. Gathering that. Gathering that. Gathering that. And. I guess we can just work on all of these. Can we look from cog drill ships? Production drill ships carry more. Don't know what type of drill ship this is. Destroy production tier 1. This is. I think production tier 1. I think it's actually the right thing. We're mining it from the inside. Eventually, it will be destroyed. I'm guessing a gun would be much more effective, but it also requires ammo. Whereas this is just brute force and ignorance, which is seems to be working quite well. Oh, we can't get past. We'll have to go through the hole there. And there we go. And then that's mined. Okay, so. We can place that in storage. It does say about that. Um, scrap station, refinery station, anything they want to take. Production... I guess we could take the production station. Not that we probably need to. But I don't think this is working anymore. I'm pretty sure it's all kinds of broke now. They have storage here. They have a refinery. They have a pump. And we do need to find a pump. It does say place pump into storage. We have one pump. And we're going to take the converters. We'll take the shredders. We'll take the coal. A destroyed refinery module. We'll take that. And in fact, we'll take the lot. We'll just probably play... No, we can get copper anywhere. We'll go for a... No, I guess we'll take that. That's all right. Yeah, I don't think we need to do anything else. Right, that is about that. And uh oh, um, straight to the face. What was that? Was that a minor head? It was a minor head. Not a head from a miner. That would be really quite bad. Although I guess there's different types of miners. Right. Okay. So we're gonna go back. Uh, that was patched out. So we're gonna go back and up and over this way. I must confess, it's not a like a terribly looking place when it's not full of horrible robots, lava floors, ash clouds, and um, yeah, just other generic horribleness. When you're like walking through this path and you're on this nice path with all the lush trees and greenery around you, it's quite nice. And uh, like the little towns are quite good as well. 
But we need to get back. We need to place some stuff in there and then follow this stuff on. But this is just, as I said, the uh, the quests that we're getting from from uh, the captain on the ship over there. The tutorial is fairly simple enough and it tells you pretty much what you need to know. I haven't had any great difficulty. I know from experience that you go further underground and you uh, gather more stuff. But I just want to go back and see what we can do. And oh, look at that. That's all. It's all animating quite nicely there. So we do need to place another gun on this side, which I will promptly make after I've put some stuff into storage. But the problem being, I guess, that we don't have a lot of this stuff. We need to place that destroyed there and the one of those and destroyed that. And there we go. So done. The research systems are up. You'll be able to use this to produce things. So we'll put the sulfur on there, copper ore in there. We'll place the shredder, converter, everything else. And there we are. And you can see this inventory slot is up to, uh, it says 24, 24, but it's 35 and uh, we use 35 out of 64 because we've got storage there and I believe storage back there, which it just it amalgamates the, all, them all, which is pretty good. So we probably do have quests, which is research, so we're going to do that. So we need to produce a production tier 1 and, well, I think I'm pretty sure we already had production tier 1, but anyway. In terms of that, we it says go to the module section and it says produce production tier 1. I'm going to Build a turret module, because I do need one. I'll wait until that's completed. I'm going to place the turret module on the other side. We need research tier 1, which we'll go for as well. And then finally, we'll need production tier 1. It allows the production of devices. And we'll pick that up as well. One of the things I'm not too sure about is what if I move that? Because I wanted to move that storage, but if I pick that up, will that reduce it to a certain amount, in which case everything will break? I don't know, and I'm certainly not going to find out. So, we're going to go over to here. We'll go with the uh, thing here. Oh, actually, I have to pick it up first, don't we? One, two, three, and there we go. And then we're going to place the turret module in there. I think it would be best if I also made some more turret ammo, but I cannot yet make it because I haven't refined any more of that sulfur, which I will say that one there. Does say uh, item missing? Online storage items not available, sulfur ore. I thought I'd place some sulfur ore. Or have I used it all is the question. No, there is some sulfur powder in there. I'm going to pick that up and put it back. Um, is it... Ah, is it just not in the right storage? Is it because it's in the wrong module? I'll pick all that up and then place it in the back here. I'm guessing that is not the case, but let's see. Station storage. Hmm. Sulfur powder. And you need sulfur or zero available. Ten to zero. Not too sure. Is that not online? It is online. Online. One inventory shows which are available in deployed cargo modules. More stuff online control stations frame production. There it is. It's in there. I do not know why. Um, not, so you can do that. Turn it off and on. It's also damaged. No, oh, it says 90%. Turret ammo low. Produce more ammo. Yes, I was going to do just that. I just cannot, however. Right, so uh, where was I? So it says we need to build the research tier 1 as well as production tier 1. So we're going to do both of those. We'll place the production tier 1 in here and then we're going to place the research in this side i believe so that is now done we can go over to this you can see it is deploying we will be able to get a station up and running first we'll have to go for uh, the raid the drill ship uh, we can also restart the tutorial apparently <laughs> well that's, that's what it is isn't it just to go and fight it and oh, we need a pump anyway produce some copper tubes this is for the research device so we're going to go there and we'll see how many copper tubes. One, two. And there we go. Go to the research station, which will be strangely in the equipment bit. And where will it be? Scrap station, research station. It's uh, color coded in green there. And ah, energy running low. Running out of energy, deployed power modules. Ah, am I, am I actually out of power? Ah, yeah, I've got too many modules. I'm going to then. I'm going to turn off. I'm going to put that away. I'm going to turn that off. And that should put us back onto. I oh, was still on minuses, which is a shame. Okay. Well, we'll have to see what happens there. And we're going to pick up the research station. We're going to place the research station in. Where do I want to place it? Probably there. There we are. And we then can go to menu and we can research. So, production, refinery, tech. There's a lot more tech, I believe, than what I had. What I've seen previously. 
and we can start refining things. But we do need uh, more power. So let's do that. Let's go to module. And it would be coal power plant. Requires copper tubes. Quite easy to make. Module coal power plant tier one. We will pick that up. We're going to go up here. And you notice they're on the top here. That's just how I've got them. And that is the power plant. And that should be enough to power things. Yes, yes, I know you're out of power. <laughs> and, oh, loads of stuff here. We've got gather destroyed modules, lava source, explore the lava source to go underground, research, production, intel. Yeah, there's loads of stuff to do here. But we now are on plus energy, which means if I turn that on, it might be okay. Or that might take, I don't know how many, how many that takes, actually. Mm, oh, it only takes two, so we're actually on positive, which is fine. And that will hopefully start building the energy up. Right, so, low turret ammo. Yes, I'm aware. Um, we'd have to do that. It does still say no materials, which is strange. I don't know why that is. I must be obviously missing something. Do that as many times as we can to smelt that copper ingot. We might as well. That's my inventory. That is online. So object, nothing in the object. Online is the entire base. Character, you can see we've got there. And then upgrades. There's the upgrade one there. Oh, siren volume as well. Hmm. That's a thing. So, yeah, used in production. Requires one time. Online storage items not available. One time sulfur ore. Sulfur powder. Ah, oh, sulfur powder. And, oh, is that going to erupt? Ah, yes, I've just been an idiot. What a surprise. A couple of bolts, and we're fine. We've got the powder. I just hadn't uh, figured that one out. There we go. So let's build some more turret ammo. Right, my mistake. At least we now know. So we have, hopefully enough ammo. Let's check how much ammo we have. We've got three turret ammos. Let's build a little bit more than that. We need some couple of bolts. There's three of those, followed by one, two, Three, job done. And we got six in there. Excellent. So, we need to uh, mine destroy production module tier one. We need to uh, go for the lava source. It's uh, it's packed and well hidden. Wait until the eruption happens and attack again. Return your drill ship and wait for underground. Drill ship does, isn't underground. Press G and call it back to the surface. So, yeah. There's um, a little bit to explore. And we could do that. But we are getting on quite a bit. And to be fair, oh, we, do need, we do need to go underground. Because it, there's about to be an eruption. So, let's just do that. Oh, you can see all the power plants on the top there. And I don't know why the one the back took a little bit longer to fold up than the others but there you go so so far the drill ship has been expanded quite a bit since we started that there's still a little bit more room at the back however we are probably best on extending it even further i think we can get one more it might be actually some, more than one extra on the back who knows who knows it's the uh, fun of finding out really so what's this all about here uh oh periscope uh periscope being used when the drill ship is not moving so uh laser device hidden so, when the eruption happens and attack again, return your drill ship and wait underground. If your drill ship is underground, blah, blah, do this. Hmm, I will do that at some other juncture. That has been a little bit of Vulcanoids. I'm very impressed with what's been added. This uh, travel update is uh, really, really cool. And, ooh, we didn't really need to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Um. Oh, no. Oh no, I did say go down, but it's heading up. No, please just go down. Abort. You can't abort it. Oh, this is oh, this is all kinds of bad. This is all kinds of bad. Are we going to be able to get underground in time? Yeah, it's going down. 26 seconds, 25, 24. I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> okay, can confirm you can't abort. <laughs> you can't, it doesn't seem that you can abort, and yeah, it, it does allow you to effectively destroy your your thing if you, um, if you need to. <laughs> well, that is a new one. Anyway, there's the next eruption, and boom. Still not a great place to be. What's all that over there? It's like some little things. Is that a drill ship? If it is a drill ship, it won't be a drill ship much longer after that. 
There you go. And that is another eruption. And we will call it there for Volcanoids. Some interesting decisions being made there. At least we got all the figured out the ammo stuff, just me being useless as always. But yeah, that's uh, Volcanoids. There's been a lot of stuff added since I last played it, and I now have a renewed interest in trying it some more because uh, the travel update's really cool. There seems to be just a bit more polish in places and more stuff to do. So yeah, progress. Good to see it. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, then by all means let me know. Comments in the comments and uh, links in the description for the game as well. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.